Alright guys, I am here finally with the tra my Transformers review of Bruticus, but this one's going to be on Brawl, and this is how it's going to go. Every day, I'm going to give you one part of Bruticus, so five parts of the figures, their arm mode, their leg mode, and all that, and then one big view of the whole figure combined, alright? So, let's get to the figure, alright. So the figure, here is Brawl. Hover tank mode, very cool. Definitely do like this figure. He was the first one I got out of all of them. And he, I love him, he's amazing. I do like this guy. To show a comparison of him. Here he is with Swindle. So, I, I don't know. To me this would should be bigger, but I don't know, whatever. Before I start off, they, Hasbro did mention that they will be remolding the Bruticus into the records, I think. And I'm not getting those. But whatever. Hopefully they come out with another combiner, though. Maybe Superion. That'd be great. I don't know. So, um, no wheels, can't really move in this mode. But he does have this weapon up here, which is very cool. I do like this weapon. Probably one of my favorite weapons in here. In the whole Bruticus set, but that will be on the side. So to transform them. All you do is you take these, lift, the, untab them, lift them up, rotate the tank barrels where these notches are down. Stand them up. Just come here, the front of these pieces. Just lift them up. Rotate this. And the reason you do this so these legs have they can move. Rotate to the binder port back. Flip out the feet. So there's the feet. Rotate his arms. Back. Flip. Rotate this part. Rotate it down. Flip it back to form the arm. So do the same thing on the other side. Flip out the hand. So there you go. You basically got the whole figure done. Next, you just come up here. Just head up a little, bring it back, bring it up, and there is the Sepicon Brawl. Oh, with the waist, just lift that up. That is used for a couple things in Combiner Mode, which we will go over. So here is Brawl. If I can get, he is kind of hard to get sand because he does have little feet. But if you get him sand, he, you can get him in good poses, I guess. I don't know. So again, it's Woodstar in his back, but he can hold it. He can hold any of the weapons. A lot of the weapons that the Red Brutus figures do have. I love his head skull. Very cool. Um, so yeah, I guess go over articulation. Arms. Go in and out there. Rotate. Bend at the elbow. Rotate at the elbow. Can go in and out like that. And only fit. Hand can only do that. So he may. So yeah. Um, head can rotate if you do get your finger in there. If you get your finger, it's on a bowl joint, so if you get your finger there, you can goes up and down. So yeah, um, waist do got that little rocket motion, but doesn't really help it. Um, thigh swivel, legs go up, not really back due to the kibble on his back, but in and out very well. Been at the a great deal of knee joint, so you can be like one of those kicking poses and foot. And go up and down, and that's it. So poses ability very good, very high, but very cool. So after that, I guess let's turn him into his leg mode. All you do, you be, you basically turn him into his tank. So we'll go from his robot mode into his tank mode. So wash. So basically do everything op opposite. But instead, just lift his arms like that. Take the turret, lift that part up, rotate it. Peg that in. Peg these back here. The leg can be posed anyway. Rotate the feet. Get the feet in. Rotate these down. Rotate these down. Put those. Those pegs. Peg them in here. Put the com combiner up. So, it definitely can be combined. I mean, if you really wanted to, you can unpeg these to form more articulation, which I will show you in the main Bruticus. You can put these up like that if you want. 
But I normally just keep it like that. But there is his right leg. And of course, yeah, this thing could be a left leg. But time for his arm. All you do, because this is Scramble City kind of, sort of sets. So all you do is you flip him out like this. Rotate his turret back in. Just flip these pegs back in now. Rotate it like that. Flip his arms out, his legs. Flip the combiner up. Pull his waist. And rotate it down. These, you can just plug these holes, these pegs into those holes up there. Just to kind of get them out of the way. Next, what you want to do is rotate the arm to where you can see. And if you look, you can plug these in. There's pegs that do go in. Next, you just fold out the hands. What you should have to do is before you peg the legs together. It's a lot, a lot easier. Fold them in, peg the legs and arms, and there you go. So if you want him to have a right hand with this arm, fold out his foot to form that. But he can't hold any weapon. He can hold weapons in there, so he could be like Bumblebee on his arm, but that's really it. And you do have to turret it still. Or if you want to rotate it, do think, just rotate the arm, flip so out the other one. But that is kind of cool. And then these, that I just normally fold down. So that's really it. An articulation for this would just be rotate and this in and out like that. But that's really it. So that I will show you articulation for, but that's it. So that has been my video review of Transformers. Um the fifth cat fifth character for Bruticus, the right leg. Hope you guys enjoy this. Please look forward to the rest of my video reviews of Bruticus. And some more Marvel Universe reviews, which I actually do have a lot more to do of those. So look forward to that, and I hope to see you guys soon. And I, d I highly recommend Bruticus so far. Brawl, good figure. I got him, one of the reasons I got him was because of the Wolf for Cybertron. But this is a good figure, so I hope you guys do enjoy this. So um, please leave a comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.